hey guys you are picking your a-levels at the moment as well as everything else that you've got going on and i know loads and loads of you are wanting to do medicine but you can't decide what subjects to do because well, there are quite a few to choose from you've got your sciences and you've got maths now most places these days will only let you do three and maybe a fourth if you're lucky so about biology chemistry physics and maths which three do you pick all of the universities require chemistry at a level and then you've got to pick others generally one science as well as another subject. So if you're picking another science as well as chemistry, should it be physics or should it be biology? Are there advantages to doing physics over biology? What do you think? Lewis from Adel Physics Online. Okay, I am quite biased here because I do love physics. Um, I, I like biology as well, but I know a lot of biology at A-level is actually to do with plants, isn't it? It's about Loads kind of plants. the structure of a leaf and things like that. Now, it's really your choice about which you you know, consider as most important and also which one you enjoy. But physics is really important. And this is for, you know, people who actually day to day work in hospitals, working as doctors, because there's so much of an understanding of physics which is needed to look at how certain maybe machines work. So you think about x-rays, CT scans, there's a whole part of medical physics which actually is really fascinating. Now, I made videos about this and it's actually something I had to learn myself because when I did A-level physics, I didn't learn any of this medical stuff. I then did engineering at university and I actually worked on a research project with one of my friends who was doing a PhD. And so I was put into like an MRI machine, I was fed milkshake, they kind of took a cross section of my body. And the guy who was doing his PhD, even though it was all based on the human body and he was working with doctors, he came from a physics background. And there's a lot of people who work in hospitals who have done physics at A-level, maybe done physics degrees or radiology, and they're the people who allow doctors to actually look inside the human body and actually then, you know, not only diagnose what's wrong, but actually kind of have this kind of therapeutic treatment. And depending if you're, if you're thinking about medicine, you might have an idea about where you want to go in the future. I know there's like different kind of branches of medicine that you maybe specialise in. And if you are maybe wanted to go quite technical, and I think physics could be, you know, be a really big advantage to actually understand the way that, uh, I guess, the world around you works, which you can then apply to a lot of the kind of imaging techniques which are used in medicine. So I know, and I know probably people are probably going to argue with me about this, biology is a lot of stuff that we know already. Chemistry, there's loads of stuff with drug development, drug discovery coming on, which is going to further advances in medicine. And I think definitely the same can be said for physics, that this is where the massive, big advances in the future are going to be coming from. They're all going to be physics-based, not necessarily all biology-based. Yeah. Would you say it's a fair assessment? I, I think that people have this idea of biologists, you know, so maybe not just medical students, but people doing biology, it's kind of looking at pipettes and you're putting stuff in petri dishes. Well, actually, look at the human genome. The kind of people who are investigating that, they're kind of sitting in an office in front of a computer doing coding. And I think a lot of the discoveries now and some of the breakthroughs, and maybe the way that some parts of medicine are going towards, is you're kind of using this kind of massive computational power to actually work out, you know, genes, I don't, I'm not a biologist, but there's all this kind of stuff where having a physics background, even if you're doing biology or medicine, that could maybe really help you in your future career. And yeah, I think if you enjoy physics, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, universities see it as an enabling subject. So if you've got chemistry and physics, they're not going to say, well, that's a bad choice. What are you thinking about? If you've got physics, it can ho only help your CV. I guess there's that thing of do you do maths or biology as well? But I think it, this may be where it comes down to, you know, being honest about which subjects you like speaking to your teachers because they might recommend one way or another or even looking at what universities are wanting and maybe there's a way you can contact them actually find out you know bear in mind if you're going to be doing medicine you're going to be hopefully pretty intelligent quite proactive and you can sort of take the lead about actually finding out what uh, what kind of things you maybe need to actually access those courses in the future. And that is the best thing that you really can do. Go and look at the UKS website, go and look at the university website, ask them questions. To give you a bit of a starting point for this, over on my website I've gone through all of the universities that do medicine as an undergraduate degree and I've put you a list of what A-levels are looking for, what grades they're looking for, whether they are looking for chemistry, all of them are looking for, whether they're just looking for one extra science or two extra sciences, human biology generally doesn't count as an A-level, further math generally doesn't count as an A-level. So you can't do chemistry, maths and further maths as your A-level, you can't do chemistry, biology and human biology as your A-level, that's just not going to count. But chemistry is a brilliant subject and physics is a brilliant subject as well. Good luck.